on guys classic thomas fcw thomas and friends season 25 ftl here and today i'm going to be reacting to the wait i think this is the 16th episode of thomas and friends season seven and it's going to be called peace and quiet so yeah this is basically the debut of murdoch the mighty engine which you see here and I think he had plenty of potential to be a good character. And I'm, and it's sad that he didn't appear again after season 12. Imagine if he returned into, in the, into the CGI series. That, that would have been pretty cool. So, yeah. Which I don't think he's going to return in the reboot. But he might. But we'll have to wait and see. So, yeah. So, without further ado, guys. Let's begin. Here we go. Look, stock food from season four. Hurry up. I'm which a is busy fish. engine, Puff Henry. Goods arrive night and day at the docks. Which, that's a different harbor. But sometimes Henry and the other engines work so hard that their axles ache. Listen the fat tough. controller brought in a new engine to help with the heavy work. When I first saw Murdoch, I thought he was going to be a new engine at the dock. He looked very strong. But I was wrong. This is Murdoch. He's going to be pulling freight on the main line. Um. Ahoy, Murdoch! Shouted Salty. Welcome, Murdoch! Called Harvey. You're the biggest engine I've ever seen, cried oh, Thomas. One of them. You're a chatty uh, Excuse lot. me. Murdoch said quietly. Soon Murdoch was coupled to a long, long line of heavy Oh trucks. boy, here we strength, go. His wheels started to turn and the mighty engine chuffed away. Murdoch longed for some peace and quiet. But every Wait a minute. He went, I thought I saw a duck at the colon pen. At the end of the day, when Murdoch we... was looking forward to a I think good that's a good rest. because... Duck was seen working at the coaling plant, but then we saw him working at the ironworks. That's totally strange, What's if you the ask me. train you've ever pulled? Have you worked Marseille? Have you worked where, Have Salty? You ever crashed? Please, was it Marseille? We said. Well, if he did, then boxes. he no would have been a French be engine. Harvey. Um, We're only being friendly, have you ever Mikey? worked in France before, Salty? I the next doubt morning, it. Murdoch collected another long, heavy train. That is a big train. This time Imagine if he pulled more trains than Henry or Gordon. Was that would have been pretty cool. But I don't think he would have broken down. Which we never seen him At broken last down. He had some peace and quiet. <clears throat> the beautiful countryside with no interruptions. <clears throat> Uh oh, sheep are on the line again. Suddenly, his driver applied the brakes. There were sheep on the tracks. The sheep this happens quite a lot. Field, so the driver through that broken fence. They tried to shoot the sheep back. Where you sheep? First this way, and then that way. Oh. They tried. Oh, get a move on. Worked. You stupid we'll never sheep. move these sheep by ourselves, complained the fireman. I'll go and phone for help, sighed Don't the call the farmer. Murdoch was very unhappy. Oh, no. The noisy no. sheep were spoiling his peace and quiet. Stupid sheep. The fat controller was enjoying afternoon tea when he got the call. Toast for sheep. sheep. He exclaimed loudly, I'll send Toby with the farmer immediately. The sheep What's were becoming Toby gonna do? noisier and noisier. Oh, please. please stop, groaned Murdoch. I'd rather be back with the Chatterbox engines. Oh, so Just now then, you're sorry for them. Toby then. chuffed into view. Hello, I see you're in a bit Toby, of trouble. exclaimed Murdoch. <clears throat> we're certainly glad to see you. How do you know, Toby? You, you never met before him before. Long, the farmer and his dog went to it's confusing. And it would have been nice if Toby had a bit of dialogue, which I think he would have said, Hello there, are you in a bit of trouble? <clears throat> there you go, Murdoch. The sheep are back in the field again. You can be off now. Thank you, Toby. That evening, Murdoch parked 
between Harvey and Salty, but Murdoch spoke first. And that bird shed is pretty much the other, recent shed that the newbies from season I six to seven to company, except for Salty. Fergus for some reason. <clears throat> added Salty. Yeah. It reminds me of a story. Murdoch smiled. Oh, the sound yes. of bar, bar, bar would have kept him awake, but a salty story would send him happily to he's sleep. He's probably going to be awake all night because he's going to be hearing some dangerous conditions about the sea and all that. So, yeah. Oh, sorry about that. So, yeah. That was my reaction to Peace and Quiet. So, what do I think of this episode? Not a bad episode, in my opinion. Kind of a great introduction to Murdoch, which again, he would have had more potential to come back, but they only used him in like six or seven episodes, and then he never appeared again. Which he only spoke in like three or four episodes, and then never spoke again, which predominantly is this season and season 12. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. So, yeah. So, that's all for this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. And have a great day. Goodbye.